Okay, everybody, as you might know, my cat Cash, the black one, has a tendency of running away because he's gotten a taste of the wild outdoors. So, every opportune moment, he's tried to go outside. And every time he comes back, he's not in really bad shape, but obviously he's a little dirty. So, I've had to bathe him the last couple times every time he came back. So, hopefully, I'm going to try and teach him a lesson this time and see how it goes. Now, this is the fine art of trolling your cat, aka the cat that does not like baths, is about to get bathed and exposed on YouTube. So here we go. Step number one, turn on the shower. So you might be wondering why I'm not using the bathtub because I have this uh, camera set in a tripod in my Whirlpool. The reason is when you bathe the cat in a shower stall, it just gives them more of a sense of utter and hopeless defeat because there is no escape for them. They cannot get out. No matter what they do, they're entrapped in this glass prison and they are pretty much subject to whatever whim I desire. Of course, the only whim I have is, you know, getting all that shit out of his fur. Not literally shit, but, you know, all that crap out of his fur, so. But he doesn't know that. He thinks I'm out to get him. And that's exactly what I want him to think because that just makes him cry that much harder. And that's exactly what we're looking for at the end. We're, we just want to see how many times Cash will complain about being bathed. So already his ears are flattening against the back of his head. He's already nervous, so he knows what's going on. He's sniffing at the ground cautiously. Let me see if this water is warm yet. All right, the water is getting a little warm. It's not hot enough yet. I don't want it like blazing hot, but I don't want it too cold either. Yeah, I imagine as a cat being completely covered in fur, when you get damp, it's probably not very pleasant, which is probably why he tries to avoid the shower. So right now he's kind of peering curiously at it. Let's see here. Yeah. Okay, water is getting warm enough. Now this is the first step, getting the cat into the shower stall. Oh, gosh. All right. This is not on camera, but he's climbing against my shoulder. He does not want to go in there. The claws are out. My flesh is being abused. Yeah, he's tiny, so I'm going to walk away for a bit and pretend that he's not going in the shower. Okay, so now I have successfully faked the cat out by grabbing his limbs. I'm going to force him into the shower. So, oh, there we go. The cat is now in the shower stall. Unfortunately, I can't bathe him normally because, you know, YouTube would not approve me being naked. But there's probably enough steam in here that you can't see me anyways, so it's okay. Yeah, that's what you get, motherfucker. That's what you get for running outside, you little bitch. Take it. So yeah, my other cat, Tango, is uh, looking at the glass, and he's just kind of laughing. He got bathed yesterday, and he knows that he's off the hook, so he's just like, ah, ah you're getting it this time. How do you feel, Cash? Are you okay? What's that? It feels like shit. I can't hear you. What's that? I can't hear you. Maybe a little louder for all of our viewers at home. All right, so once the cat has been uh, thoroughly moistened, you will notice that his body mass has reduced by about 150% because a lot of that is just fur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard it before. When will you learn not to go outside? Every time you go outside, this will happen. I guarantee it. Over 90% of the world is covered in water. I got plenty for you, okay? All right. So now the cat has been thoroughly drenched. It is time to bathe him. Get down here.
The secret I have for baiting the cat is that what I do when I'm lathering him, I do the same thing as when I'm petting him. So this is a little bit reassuring, which is probably why he's not complaining right now. But I'm sure as the water begins to cool off and his body temperature begins to drop, he's going to start complaining loud and clear once more. This is actually the third time I bathed him this year, so I think he might be getting used to it. The first couple of times, it was much, much worse. He was basically crying every 5-10 seconds. How do you feel, Cash? Are you okay? You don't want to try and frantically escape, claw at the sides of the shower stall, in a futile hope that you might escape. Alright, so I've already uh, exhausted my handful of shampoo. Time to renew. Want to make sure I get every inch, okay? I don't know how clear this video is going to be, but whatever. The drawing point of the video is not the actual sight of the cat being bathed. As you can see, here's the cat. He's being bathed. No, the actual attraction point or charm point of this video is how many times he'll cry out in protest. Now some of you who are stupid might say this is animal cruelty, but I don't know if any of you guys who say that actually own pets, but pets need to be cleaned. I'm not sure if you're aware of this fact, but animals are not clean. And if you want them in your house, you have to clean them, because they're not going to do that for you, okay? Okay. How are you feeling, Cash? You feeling okay? You're very quiet today. Somebody, something happened to you? Did you have a bad day at work, Cash? Wow, this, uh, this water is coming off brown from my hands. That, that's pretty serious. I had this like nice gloppy brown pool at the bottom of my shower stall. Okay, here's more cat being bathed and lathered. Say hello. Hello, Cash. Don't claw at the shower stall. You're not going to escape. It's not going to work. Design yourself to fade, little one. Yeah, probably because I pet him like this all the time, he probably feels okay because I'm just petting him right now. I'm sure as soon as the water turns back on, all hell will break loose. Are you trying to escape? Oh, you're shivering. That's no good. Oh, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Okay. The cat has been thoroughly lathered. It is time to now rinse it off. There's uh, lots of nice clumps of black hair in my shower stall right now. Did you know that you broke my window trying to get outside? Actually, no, you didn't try to get outside, you did go outside. You broke my fucking window and you went outside, you little son of a bitch. And now look at you, I'm giving you a bath. You run outside, you break my property, you break my window, and I'm giving you a bath. This is how much I love you, okay? This is not a punishment. Oh, now he's clawing at the door. I don't know if you can see that, but he's clawing at the shower stall. Yeah. I know. Uh-huh. What else? Tell me about your mother. We're almost done. Quit being such a crybaby. Guys, bitch. <laughs> All right, so I don't know if anybody's been keeping count, but I think we've exceeded 12. We have kind of a betting pool going on here. Oh no, don't climb on me, motherfucker. Get the fuck off. Back off. Right in your eyes. Come. Oh. Mm. 
How's it feel? Yeah, that's right. I'm in here with you, motherfucker. You don't see me escaping. Yes, another frantic escape attempt. He is rattling the doors in an attempt to escape from this glass prison. That's not going to work. Nice try. Okay, so now I'm done. I'm just going to keep you here for a little while. What? Yeah, my other cat is answering him. So I'm going to crack the door open and make him think he can get out. But then he can't. Because I need to squeeze him dry first. The cat's mass has been reduced by roughly about 80% at this point. He no longer looks like a cat. He looks like, I don't know, a very wet cat. There, you're all done. Stop complaining. All things considered, this could be a lot worse. I've seen a lot worse on YouTube. He could be crying bloody hell right now. He could be clawing murderously everywhere, but he's not. He just looks kind of inconvenienced and unhappy. But it's okay. It'll all be okay in about an hour. Okay, now you can go. So the first instinct of the cat is that he's going to want to escape. Of course, we can't let him do that because he's still wet and he'll make a mess. So the next step is to towel the cat off. Curiously enough, he's not crying during this segment. He is struggling though. I'm not sure why. Thank you to my uh, very helpful cameraman here, SK. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope, you're not done. Hmm? And in case you're wondering, yes, this is a ShamWow that the cat is on right now. I'm using a ShamWow as my bath towel here. They're very absorbent. Cats hold a lot of water. Okay, almost done here. Almost done. Oh, that's just mean. Don't play with his wet tail. It's just rude. All right. The cat has been dried as much as I can help. Without use of a blow dryer because that just scares the shit out of him and I don't want to go through all that. So another successful little bath. Run free, Cash. There you go, run free. <laughs> that is how you bathe the cat. 